Good morning, friends. It's Quendi, the Grateful Queen, here on YouTube. And guess what? It's a bins day. I am parked here on a Thursday morning in Sonoma County, California, outside the Goodwill Outlet, where I'll dig through these giant blue bins of clothing, and then I'll take it all up to the register. They'll weigh it, and I'll pay by the pound. My bins is quite expensive, relatively speaking, with other bins at $3.49 a pound. This is my first time back since 50% off day. <laughs> so I came twice last week when they were doing a 50% off sale. Have you guys ever even heard of a 50% off sale at the bins? It was epic. I did so well. So I think it's going to be a little painful to pull up to the register with the same amount of stuff and pay double, but it is what it is. I've been finding some really great stuff. I have a whole playlist of Bins videos, you guys. So if you're newer to the channel and you wanna catch up, find that playlist. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you're having a great day. My okay, sale. let's see if this is the hat for me. PD is like a medium large. I know I'm gonna get comments about people saying, I can't believe you put a hat on at the Bins, but it's so clean. I mean, I love it. What do I wear this? Why is it doing this? It looks like it's, it's got character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we are at the nightmare, which is the shoe bin. I'm still upset from my last time being here and finding one fry boot. And here's one gorgeous, tall, born boot. Will I find the other one? Chances are slim. <laughs> Oh, these bins drive me crazy. It could be in any of these bins. It's a miracle I found the other one. I just like these tall, distressed, leather, brown, born boots. I have to weigh them because they might be expensive. Here. See those Birkenstocks over there? Totally, totally nailed. Otherwise, I'd pick them up even with a little wire. Those sell okay. Let's take a look at my cart for my first round. I have some Lululemon in there that I'm afraid to look at because I hope it's not damaged, but. Um, this is it so far. I found this jacket. I'll have to look up which one it is. Hopefully there's a size dot. Hopefully the zippers work. I think this might be a little bit of an older one because I haven't seen them do this in a little while. Look at my cart situation. That's a giant Brooks Brothers jacket that she, they said they'd let me have for five bucks. Oh, hi guys. I didn't even say hi today because there was someone parked right here. Anyway, bags of shoes, a really nice comforter that I can get for a blanket price. This little wicker basket, but this is gonna weigh a lot today, you guys, because this is, um, there's shoes, so many pairs of shoes. So it's gonna be a lot. Let's see what the total is. Love you. Okay, you beautiful people, welcome to the haul portion of the video. I'm gonna go super quick because it has been a long day. <laughs> I've been at the bins all day. I stopped by my son, he was at a birthday party. I'm gonna do this haul, make a little something to eat, and then it's back to school night for the parents. So life is very full, and I'm so happy you're here with me. I appreciate you so much. This haul's gonna be a little different because I bought a bunch of shoes. I have a love-hate relationship with shoes. Let me know in the comments, where are you at on the sh reselling shoes or buying shoes dilemma. I love the profits from shoes. They usually sell fast. They usually sell for more money. However, they require more work. They usually need to be wiped down, scrubbed, polished, photographed. Storing them is a little bit harder for me. So I, I often do not go near the shoe bins. I leave that to other people. But today, the clothes weren't as plentiful. So I, I waded into the shoes. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the shoes. I did get a bunch of clothes. I really did, but I, I did some shoes. Why don't we start with some of the shoes? I've got a mixed bag. Are you ready for it? Let's do it. I bought these. Oh, let me just tell you, this entire haul is $135. For everything you're gonna see here, that's crazy good. I'm really pleased with that. I think you'll see that um, 
I'm gonna make that money back, no problem. These are Lucky Brand. They're a little blue suede booty. They're a size 10. They're in really good shape. They still have the sticker on the bottom. The way, the two-tone of this, uh, that's the way it comes. So I got these. These used to be a hot, hot seller. They're a little ankle booty. Where am I gonna put the stuff that I've already shown you? Here we go. This is one of my favorite brands personally. It's Born, B-O-R-N. This is the little logo. I love wearing these myself because I've graduated into what we call comfort shoes and Born I think makes really cool styles but they're also comfortable. What's the size on these babies? I'm gonna let you know because sometimes you guys message me and want things. My store and closet are always in the description section. These are a size nine or 40.5 genuine leather. Just a classic distressed brown leather riding boot. I got a bun I bought got kids Birkenstocks. All the adult Birkenstocks were in terrible shape. These need an absolute cleanup, but they're not cracked. Birkenstocks you can sell. I've recently sold some that are like they look kind of dirty. They get these toe marks. For 40 bucks I sold them pre-owned, so they'll still sell with wear, but this cork part can get cracked. So that's what you need to check. These are a uh, girl size 30. They have a floral lining. This I looked up and you guys know why. Because if it says made in Italy, I'm always looking it up. This says FS slash NY made in Italy. The comps on these are like $50 pre-owned. They're a little slip on shoe, but it said made in Italy. So I looked it up and I encourage you to look it up if it says that. Do you like the top of my head right now? I bet you do. These are Ariat, which is a fantastic brand. You can see their logo there, Ariat. They do Western. Everything in this brand seems to sell good for me. Goodwill had these marked up to $24. And you know what? It's actually not a bad price for these boots. They have a little bit of wear. They need a little cleanup. But I'm gonna have a shoe cleaning day. These are a size eight. Okay, I bought myself this bag apparently so I could get, get all these shoes home. Shoes, shoes, shoes. I'm just going to have a cleaning day out on my back porch. I'm going to put a podcast on or one of your YouTube videos and I'm just going to clean shoes and let them dry outside in the sun. Another pair of those Birkenstocks for little kids. This okay, I'm feeling quite proud of myself which is why I'm showing this to you. These are the majority of the shoes that I picked up at the bins. And I set up a little station and washed them all. So they're out here drying in the sun. Um, I think they came out all pretty, pretty good. And um, a couple of them like these, I'm just gonna put some Dr. Doc Martens Wonder Bomb on. They're supposed to be a distressed leather, but um, these Ariats are in such good shape. Look at the tread on those. I think that this is intentional because it's like a little bit shinier suede here and then not here. So it looks manufactured because they're in such gorgeous shape. So I did it. Now I can get these babies listed and I don't have to feel bad about buying shoes that are going to sit in a death pile. So this is a really good brand. Catherine found these um, black leather ankle boots with a gray kind of strap detail. And the brand is NAOT. They're a size 37. NAOT maybe? These are another kind of comfort, lagging look, boho-y. I would wear those in a second. I really like that style. Let's move on to something else. I do have a few more pairs of shoes. This is a Brooks Brothers, Brooks Brothers jacket. It is giant, okay? Big, huge, fleece-lined, navy blue, men's size large, Brooks Brothers. Brooks Brothers is kind of a classic, conservative brand, I would say. It's expensive. Now, I took this up there because at $3.49 a pound, I'm careful about shoes, jeans, jackets, sweaters, heavy stuff. I brought it up there. Oh, it has a hood. That's cool. Um, I brought it up there. I weighed it. They said it was going to be like $12. I said, okay. And the manager said, I'll give it to you for five. And I'm like, thank you. That does not happen often that I'm aware of at the, bin at the bins that you have to get the manager sometimes. She'll do it, which I think is smart. Here's my 
I think I wish that my bins had more like set prices like I've seen at other bins. Like they do have a set blanket price for $5. Sheets are two they, and baskets are $1. So there are some set prices, but I wish they had like a jacket price, a $5 jacket price or something because this stuff, this is the last stop, the bins. Like the next stop is like being put in pallets to be shipped off to other countries or in the landfill. So we'll buy this stuff, Goodwill, but you have to make it reasonable for us. This is a vintage pair of baby overalls. I've been doing really well with certain kids clothes. I didn't buy this for brand. It says Jacati. Don't know if that's anything. I think it has Euro sizing. So these are little embroidery overalls. I've been doing pretty good with kids stuff, especially vintage. This I bought for myself. Um, it's peach love, but and it did the comps were not so great on it. So I'm like, I want that for myself. A boxy tie dye comfy sweatshirt. Yes, please. This is a lucky brand. You guys, lucky brand's been selling for me again. Um, I've sold a lot of lucky brand this month. I sold a plus size peasant top for $30. I sold a men's a uh, snap front gauze extra large shirt for $30. So I also sell Lucky Brand just tops, you know, little boho tops for 12 or 15 from the bins, but it's actually selling for me again. So um, this is Fender Lucky Brand. I like picking, picking up Lucky Brand's graphic tees. I don't know what this Fender's all about. Maybe you guys do, but this is an anthropology brand. What is it called? I know the tag. One of you will know it. I think it's HR. Um, here's the tag. One of you guys will probably know this tag. I know it's anthropology. I just can't remember what it's called. And this is such an anthropology card. Again, look at all this detail. The sweetest little um, kind of retro inspired granny core lightweight cardigan. Oh, the cutest little details on it, right? This is a Kate Spade bag. It needs a cleanup, but I've been doing pretty well with the Kate Spade bags I find at the bins. I think because I don't charge a lot for them. I've been selling them for like 35 or 40 for just a plain black one, but this one's so cute. A little floral uh, shoulder bag. Navy blue with flowers. And um, it just has wear here. So I'm gonna see if I can, it's a fabric bag. I'm gonna see how I can clean this up. I actually enjoy cleaning handbags. I don't enjoy cleaning shoes for some reason, but handbags, I don't know why. I just, I just have no problem cleaning them. The, the, the inside is very clean, so that's always helpful. So that's a cutie patootie bag. A little free people, which you guys know I love, and this is a pretty decent beat piece from the brand. Here's the little free people bar tab. It's, it's a little ta a little bar, and it says free people on it. And this is a black dress, all lace, low back, with these all these strappy straps. Isn't that cute? So the back, it's just these thin straps. And it's got an asymmetrical hem, little party dress, yes. You guys know I love my linen. The tag was cut out and the neck on this, so I, but I was like, hmm. Linen jackets like this, they just sell so great for me. So it's worth taking a second to look it up. It is a navy blue 100% linen jacket. See how the tags cut out at the neck? So I just went into the body of the garment and found the Chico's tag here on the inside. 100% linen and I'll just have to um, measure it. So I'm not worried about that. Let me show you this giant thing so I can get it out of the way. I love selling linens, tablecloths, kitchen towels, um, any of it, sheets. This I thought was so gorgeous. It's like this oatmeal color and then it has these chenille uh, textured mustard colored leaves all over it. This was a pain in the butt to look into too, you guys. But I did find the label inside and it's Scandinavian Designs, which is quite expensive. I looked up comps on this. I'm hoping for about $50. It's a duvet cover. So it has the little button. So you put this over your comforter. And if I can find the tag, here it is. Scandinavian 
Designs Doka Duvet. It gives the myth the uh, measurements and it's 88% cotton and 2% flax. Scandinavian designs. So I'm always looking for like more expensive brands like this. So I hope I sell this fast because I don't want to store it. But in one of my last videos, I found a duvet by the brand Brooks Linen and it's called like Luxury Linen. They retail for $2.25. Mine sold immediately for $75 plus shipping. So don't sleep on the linen. Okay, I found a bunch of Lululemon. Who donates all this Lululemon? I mean, what? So this is a jacket. Oh wait, this one's Athleta. I'll show you this Athleta. Um, and I have several Lululemon pieces coming up. So don't you worry. Athleta, this is their little symbol, their little star. This is a black full zip fitted athletic jacket. Okay, here's one piece of Lululemon. These are men's large shorts, black, kind of a longer, longer uh, length. And there's the Lulu symbol there. And with Lululemon, in case you're new, you have to look all around in the pockets to find the size dot and things like that. Ooh, there's something in this pocket. What is it? It is a Planet Fitness gym card. <laughs> I'm always finding random stuff. Usually it's like rolled up tissues, mints, receipts for stuff, occasionally money. What have you guys found any good stuff in pockets? Let me know in the comments. Um, these are cool. I, I don't know what the style is on these, but those are nice. Hold on, water break, be right back. BRB. This is what the t-shirt bros did. They made a little like display, like at a store. Oh my God, look at that. That's hilarious. They folded them all up to show us. There's actually some cute shirts in there. There's a North Face. <laughs> God, I love the bands. Too nailed. I mean, they look okay from here. This is definitely a Bolo brand to keep your eye out, but look at the bottom. I mean, there is like no tread left on those. I can't imagine. So that is sad. Here's my pile of things I'm putting back. I have a, only a few things in here. Found this Free People sweatshirt, which I love, so it probably won't make it onto eBay, friends. Oh, it's a large, though. Super distressed sweatshirt top with some cool sleeves. That's a yes. It's a neat print. It is. It's called Color Swatch. Mm. Okay, I went against my own rule and looked through the shoe bin. And now I've got one Taos boot in my size. And I can't find the other. And I'm sad about it. But I've got all these other things to look through. Um... This is a really good brand. I don't know if I'll end up with these because there's some dings on the heels, but um, these are L'Artiste. Let me see if I can show you. It's a little awkward with this elastic band. Catherine's here today. She's sorting. Let's see. Everyone loves our Catherine. Okay, these are, can I show you this or what? It's so hard to read. It says L'Artiste in there. These are awesome, but they have a little heel ding, but I'm wondering if I can... Oh no, look at their peeling on the inside. Too bad. Those are cool. Oh, I just found a rip in this, Catherine. The J. Jill. And it even has an embroidered... She threw me this. It's a, I have to put it back, though. I'm being disciplined. This is a J. Jill. This is vintage J. Jill, really. But it's a linen jacket, full zip with a hood. So good, but it's got a hole. Okay, I have to show you this. I'm just a sucker for stuff like this. What is it? I don't even know. My mom has taught me to fall in love with all this stuff. It's a velvet heart. And it's all beaded. And I just figure this will be a great little piece of home decor or a great little gift for somebody. So I can't pass stuff like that up. More Lululemon. 
This is a jacket too, you guys. Yay! I think it might be the Dance Studio or Define jacket. It's a pretty popular style. And this looks to be in good shape. Needs a little lint roll, but no pills. Do we have a size? I'm hoping a size dot. Here it is. It's a size six. It doesn't have all the numbers and letters, so it's probably a little bit of an older piece, but in great shape. Maybe my friend Keegan over at The Teen Reseller, go follow him. I am very supportive of him being a teenager and reselling to save money for school. So I always tell people to subscribe to his channel. Thank you. But he might know the he, he, he might know the style of this. Here, Keegan, let me know if you know the style on this one. I could probably Google image search it. Okay, this is a really good brand. It has a little stain on it, but I'm gonna work on it because I love, I love the special Ralph Lauren lines. And this is denim and supply. It's no longer made. And I love this. It's a flannel, a button down flannel top. And there's usually some really nice design details. Right here, it has a little stain. So I'm going to put it in my stain treating pile and I hope to save it because I love this particular line personally. Um, it feels linen-y, that's why I was just checking real quick the tag. And I don't see it fast, so we're gonna move on. This is a very eclectic haul for me, wouldn't you guys say? Like I've got shoes, I've got hard goods. Okay, this is an amazing brand to know. I hope I can save this sweater. I think it's Samso Samso. This is a 100% cashmere lavender sweater. What? A great brand, a great material content. However, it needs to be washed. So I'm gonna have to Google like how to wash it. Um, it's an XL too. Okay, so when I'm looking for whether to buy things. At the bins, it's pretty cheap, so I don't have to be as careful, but I'm always looking for like, okay, what's the combination of, of things in this item that are gonna help it get sold? Okay, so this is a great brand, check. It's a great fabric, cashmere, check. It's a great size, XL, check. It's a great style. So it has all these checking of the boxes that make me go, that's a good pickup. However, it's got some little stains on it and needs to be washed, so I'm gonna have to deal with that, all right? These are Lucky Brand as well, and I love the style on these booties. So if it's like a lower boot, you can call it an ankle boot or a booty. These are in great condition. That's how I like to see it, because I don't want to do a lot of work. <laughs> These are a size nine. The heel's too big for me, but I love this style. This pile is going to be enormous. Poor Petey's going to come home and say, Quimby, what did you do in here? You made another mess? Yep, I sure did, babes. <laughs> he actually never says a word. <laughs> but in my head, I feel bad, like, oh, there's boxes of clothing everywhere. This is stuff I need to list. This is stuff I need to stay and treat. This is stuff, like, there's just piles and boxes. I try to be respectful of the main space, but you know how it is. This is Talbot's 1X. Yes, on the Talbot's large size and it's just a really pretty blue lightweight cardigan i love this brand personally it's solitaire Ooh, and this is a 3x good job quimby solitaire makes boho lacy embroidered romantic stuff why won't you focus on the tag my big head is out of the way there we go solitaire this is awesome because it's a 3x ivory colored very lacy peasant top, very romantic, very boho. <laughs> this is Ann Taylor and it's an XL and it's linen. That's why I got this number. I will steam this up and make it look nice. It's a pop over so it doesn't button all the way down. So it's a pop over, a nice pink, good size, decent brand, great fabric. This is Carhartt, needs to go through the wash. It's like a men's workwear brand and it tends to sell pretty well. This is a size medium. It's a nice green plaid button up. I believe there was that this needed to go through the wash. I don't see anything now, but maybe there's something. Ooh, a free people top, probably for me, because 
Oh, but this is a large, which makes me feel bad because I find, I find thankfully a, a decent amount of free people. Do you guys find it where you live or where you thrift? Um, and usually I find it in size small or extra small. It's more rare to find it in large. And I wonder if that's because in the brand, it tends to run very oversized. So this is a size large free people distressed sweatshirt with a nice contrast sleeve. I love this stuff for just like working at home. I want to look cute and be comfy. Here's another pair of Lululemon. See that box around the symbol that lets you know that these are men's. Wonder if it's the same guy. Um, Cause these are a big size, very big size, kind of silky, but they're like a longer rise and a longer inseam. So to figure out what style these ones are. They look very similar to that other pair. A Lululemon jacket and two pairs of Lululemon men's shorts. That just makes me so happy. I know Lululemon um, isn't selling as well as it has in the past, but I'm a huge fan of the brand and it's so expensive. We have a Lululemon here in the city where I live and I walk in, they have like 12 articles of clothing hanging in there. <laughs> and it's like, $128 for a pair of leggings or it's expensive at the quality's there, but um, I don't know if the market's so saturated now or if there are other cool brands that people are more interested in, but there's no way I'm leaving Lululemon behind. I mean, if I find some dated pilly leggings, yeah, I'm leaving those behind, but you know what I mean. These are another pair of Born and they're my size. And they're again, a distressed suede. Okay, these are a size eight, so I wanted to try these myself. Um, a brown suede distressed looking pair of ankle boots. They need some cleanup. I mean, they're supposed to be distressed in that way where it's darker there, but if not, I shall sell them. Okay, we made it through a huge Ikea bag, a shoe bag. What else do you got? I have another huge bag of clothing. I also got... Um, this frame for my vintage, as you see here, I like to use um, just antique and vintage frames that are empty <laughs> as part of my decor. So here's another one. And I got this, oh, I got a couple of things. This I absolutely love. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. This is copper, a gorgeous copper tray on little pedestal feet with some ceramic handles. I don't know if I'm gonna put soaps in here or i don't know but i absolutely love that i can't wait till someday i have a little vintage booth and this is a wicker white wicker it's the real wicker I don't, this was probably originally like a magazine rack but i i might put my skincare in there we'll see <laughs> bras 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 you know i love selling bras this one's waco and it's a 38 triple d this is a good bra brand, it's expensive. I'm always looking, I want the bras to be very clean and good shape. You wanna look at the hooks, make sure they're not dented or anything. You want it to be clean and you wanna have the size on there. I've made this mistake and I don't wanna make it again where I get a good bra. I'm like, okay, it's in good shape, it's a brand, but then the someone cut the size out, there's nothing I can do with that. So I got this, this is a Victoria's Secret bra, so I'm checking for condition size this is a very lightweight nike top and i got it because it was 32 dollars and it's new with tag so hopefully i can pull something out of that i got these doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. i got these columbia shorts because they're a women's size 12 i like finding larger sizes Omni Shield Outdoor Green Cargo Shorts. I use keywords like hiking, camping, outdoor. This is another fantastic bra brand. This is Nat Natori, N-A-T-O-R-I. Natori, if you find anything from Natori, slips, lingerie, um, bras, I say if you can, pick them up. This is a Columbia vest. I love this. It's, and it's an XL. So it's got a quilted front and a hood and it's a great color. 
So the comps on Columbia are all over. It's not as expensive as some of the other, it's not as expensive as like Patagonia, but um, I think we're moving into fall, winter, and people will be looking for stuff like this. So I have it. This is a brand I've never heard of, but since it was cashmere, I bought it. And it looks vintage to me, but we'll see. It says, the tag reads, oh gosh, <laughs> what does it read? The tag says, Balin Finn, 100% cashmere made in Scotland. And it's got some sort of Scottish, Scot, it has some sort of Scottish sizing maybe. I don't know. But what I do know is it's a cashmere cardigan with cute little buttons. A gray cashmere cardigan. I went like this, looking for holes. Cashmere almost always has holes when you find it. So it's like to find cashmere without the holes. I've sold it with a tiny hole. I wasn't familiar with these, um, this brand, but they look cool, these leggings and their plus size. And it's p the Pyramid Collection in a 3X. And comps on this brand are really good. I love learning a new brand, the Pyramid Collection. So those are cool. Do you guys remember one of my recent videos, I showed you these leggings that were so cool. They had similar prints. The graphic on these leggings were amazing. And I held them up and said, you guys, I can't figure out what this logo is. And a couple friends wrote in and said, oh, that's Yoga Democracy. Yoga Democracy. So I looked at their website, super cool leggings, you guys. They retail for 88 bucks and they make amazing prints. Well, both of those sold. As soon as I found the name and got them listed, they both sold really fast. I had them for $24.99 plus $5.99 shipping, got them at the bins. Boom, they're out the door. So thank you, thank you to viewers who write in. You guys read the comment section because there's a wealth of information and knowledge. You guys are always educating me. I'm so appreciative of it, but there's amazing, great friends in the comments. So chat, chat with each other and read the comments because I'm always learning something new. Catherine threw me this, which was so nice. Toad & Co. XL. Toad & Co. is sold at REI. It's one of those outdoorsy brands. And this is a size XL. Feels like wool, but I don't know if it is. Zip up hooded fleece. Feels very wooly. And it's an XL, so that's great. Polyester and wool. It looks to be in really great shape, so thank you, Catherine. This is a mask, and I think it's Johnny Was, but it doesn't have a label. Look at that. I mean, I'm going to wear a mask just so I can wear this. The embroidery on it is absolutely stunning. What are you? Oh, this is a designer. Pretty good haul. All this for $135, you guys. And the shoes, and the bras, and the duvet cover. It's just insane. Tadashi Shoji size four. I sold a dress by this brand within the last few months for $150. It was a pretty fancy dress, but this is a designer. This is a pencil skirt. So when it's straight and straight the whole way down and comes to like the knee or below the knee, the style is pencil. You could also call it a straight skirt. I love linen. <laughs> This is Tahari, 100% linen, size XL. Fantastic turquoise color. I don't pick up a lot of Tahari, but I've, I've picked up all this, the one that looks like this, that's linen, with the black tag, and I've sold it all. So, we've got some Prana extra small leggings. Here's the Prana, here's the Prana logo. Here's the words Prana. These are cool too because they're not skinny. They're like a flare leg, which supposedly is back in style. Yoga leggings that are boot cut, wide leg flare are supposedly what's in style. I'm saying supposedly because I haven't seen that in my, at my health club at all. Every, every woman in my dance class still wears skinny leggings. I haven't seen anyone show up with flare yet, but that's what they're making now, all the brands. I'm going to show you something that's still dirty, but I think it was worth picking up even though it's dirty because it's cool. K-U-H-L. Here's their logo. And it's a very expensive brand. And this is a jacket. And it's a size large. It's like someone went hiking in this. Maybe they, and they, maybe they left it in the mountains and somebody donated it. It's a hooded jacket in really great shape, but it's, got, it's dirty. See that? It's like, that's dust. 
Like I will take probably a wipey and wipe it down. Other than that, it's in excellent condition. So I'm gonna put this in a different pile. That's an expensive jacket right there, you guys. Can't wait to show these to PD because these are such a good brand. And last time I went to the bins, I found him these wool socks for him. And he was pretty excited because they're like $25 a pair. I knew it's smart wool. I just felt them. So I'm either going to keep these and be like, I've got smart wool too now. Uh, or I'll see if um, people sell pre-owned socks. There's the little guy. That's what I saw first. That's the smart wool guy. This, this stuff sells so good, you guys. If you find a smart wool base layer top a pullover, anything by this brand. I think I got another pair as well. Yeah, two pairs. So if people sell smart wool, smart wool, that's hard to say. <laughs> if people sell pre-owned smart wool socks, then I'll list these because I don't really, I live in California. I don't really need socks that are made of wool, but Petey loves those socks. A Victoria's Secret strapless bra. This is good stuff. I didn't get quite as much clothes, although if you guys saw this pile, you'd be like, shut up. Just shut up. There's like easily 40 items here, maybe more. This just looks so cool, so I had to look it up, and the comps were good. Look at it. Super wide knit dolman, super wide at the chest, kimono sleeve. This thing's crazy. It smells like patchouli, and I think whoever wore this could be a patchouli type person. Novica, Explore Empower Impact. That's a good tag to keep your eye out for because comps on eBay looked pretty good. Comps means this is, I look up that brand and I press sold and I see all the things that sold. This is a good outdoor brand, skiing, snowboarding. It's Obermeyer. I've sold their snow pants. This is a junior's large, like a kid's wool sweater with little puffy embroidered snowflakes. Okay, these last items are good. I love this brand, XCVI. I love selling it. I love wearing it. Do you guys find this? I never see it in anyone's videos. XCVI, size medium. Everything looks the same. Everything's kind of lightweight, gathered, ruched, ribbed. This is a jacket with a little animal print. I've never seen them do that. But I can recognize it right away because it all looks sort of similar. And last but not least... A new with tags, Leota wrap dress. I checked the comps on this and they were pretty good. I'm gonna have list this for like 35 bucks. Leota, this is sold at Stitch Fix. It's expensive at Stitch Fix. New with tags, cute print, right? True wrap dress, three fourth sleeve. Okay, I think that's it. Woo, we did it. Alrighty, yes. We've made it through another haul. I appreciate you being here. Hey, on the way out, could you make sure to hit that thumbs up button? Give the video a thumbs up or a like and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss other Ben's haul videos. I get to show you this pile. It is crazy. You guys, my cost of goods must be so low on this haul. Let me try and show you. I've done this before and it's, look at this. Look at how big this pile is, you guys. And there's shoes and boots and Linens in there, crazy, I'm so grateful. So very, very grateful, where am I? Oh, you're, <laughs> well guys, <laughs> I do appreciate you being here and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye. Well, hello down there. <laughs> Would you like to see the top of my head? Why not? Let's see that. Crooked, it's like me, maybe it's okay though with a little um, step, what is this called again? It's not a step heel, stock heel, no. What is it called? I can't remember, so I'll just leave that part. Oh, okay. Do you guys remember in my last video? Um, no, it wasn't my last video. What was it? I don't know. Hello? <laughs> Seriously, stuff smell, spell, this stuff smells. <laughs> My new water bottle. I put one of these quote stickers on with some really good reminders. Be kind, work hard, 
stay humble, smile often, be loyal, be honest, travel light, keep learning, give grace, be grateful, love big. Life is good. That's, why not? Like, that sounds good to me.